Following is the counseling session of the winner of the 2016 competition. Hello, I'm here to pick up a prescription. Okay, what is the patient's name? Patient's name is Billy Oriel. Are you Billy? No, I'm Billy's dad, Ryan. Billy's dad, Ryan. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, my name's Alex. I'm the pharmacist. It's nice to meet you, Ryan. Good to meet you. Um, so I would really like to take about five minutes going over a new medication that I received for your son, Billy. Oh, okay. Well, my wife usually handles this stuff. Uh... Okay. Oh. Well, I know that your wife usually handles everything, but I would love to take a couple minutes with you just because your wife isn't here. And then if you have further questions, your wife can call me as well. Okay, great. Yeah, it would be good to just, you know, while you're here, make sure that we go over it answer any questions that you have and just make sure you're confident about how your son's going to take this medication. Sure, okay. sure. Thank you. No problem. <clears throat> how you doing today? I'm okay. Good. Um, so I have a prescription here for Billy. Mm -hmm. And first we just have to make sure we have everything in our computer system correct. Mm -hmm. Let's start. What is his birthday? 11-11-08. And is this still the correct address for him? It is. And what about the phone number? Yep. And what allergies does Billy have to medications? No allergies. No allergies. And what other medications does your son take? Nothing else. Nothing? How about over-the-counter products or any vitamins or anything? Nope, nothing. Okay, perfect. So let's get started talking about this new medication here. The medication name is Concerta. Okay. And I'm just going to give you a quick peek at what it looks like. Okay. And what did the doctor or your wife tell you that Billy is taking this for? Uh, well, he's having problems concentrating in school. He, you know, he, he hasn't handed in his homework or it's incomplete a lot. It's not like he's running around the room in class, but you know, sometimes he sits there and the teacher's worried that uh, he's off in his own world, you know. Absolutely. And I want him to do well, you know, like any dad, I suppose. But he's really good in sports, so uh, I don't want his academics to hold him back. Yeah, you know? I definitely understand. It's really important that we get Billy the tools that he needs so he's able to focus, and this medication is going to help him be able to do that. It's okay. going to increase his focus. It's called a stimulant, and it's okay. going to really help him you know, pay attention to what he's doing at school so he's able to have both balanced academics and sports. Okay. So hopefully he'll be very successful with it. And how did the doctor or your wife or anyone tell you that Billy's going to be taking this medication? Nobody told me nothing. My wife handles everything. I mean, uh, thank God, you know, but... Okay. Well, we'll make sure that you know everything to tell her when you get home. And like I said, any further questions, she's welcome to give me a call, too. Okay. But let's just give you a quick look. It's going to be one tablet once a day in the morning before okay. he goes to school. Okay. And this Mornings are crazy in my house. I know. I understand. Yeah. Probably everybody getting ready and all that chaos. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we do want to make sure that he gets it before he goes to school in the morning. Okay. Um, this medication does not have any refills because this medication actually can't have any refills by law. So Billy's going to have to be making his appointments, any kind of dose adjustments, which is common in the beginning. So again, the medication is Concerta, and it's an 18 milligram okay. tablet, which is a lower dose, so he might need to be increased over time. Okay. Based on how he's doing and how he's feeling and everything. So what if he forgets to take one? That's a good point. So if he forgets to take the medication, you don't need to run out the door and bring it to school. Um, you would want to make sure that he wasn't getting extra doses. And another important thing is you wouldn't want him to be taking it too late in the afternoon. Because okay. if he takes it in the afternoon, then it could make him have some trouble going to bed at night, which I know would be a whole nother problem for That's you. That's a can of worms. So yeah. usually what I tell patients is no later than probably maybe 12 or 1 o'clock, and that's even pushing it. Okay. okay, and then if, if it's later than that, just skip Just skip it. and wait till the next dose. Okay. That's a very good question. I'm glad you brought that up. Okay. You want to store this in a cool, dry place away from heat, light, or moisture. And what did the doctor tell you to expect from Billy while he's taking this medication? I wasn't there. I don't know. Right. So he might have some weight loss. He might have a little bit of a decreased appetite for a while. And also he might have some trouble going to bed at night, and that'd be something to let the doctor know. Some more serious side effects would be any kind of changes in mood if he was feeling a little anxious or if he had a little bit of chest pain as well. So definitely watch out for that and let your wife and his doctor know if, you, if he experiences that. Okay. And just to make sure I didn't leave anything out, can you summarize for me how Billy is going to be taking this medication? Once a day in the morning, not after noon or one. Okay. What other questions or concerns do you have for me, Ryan? Nothing. That's it. Okay. Thank you. And please, I know your wife runs the show, so just let her know. Call me if anything comes up. I'd be happy to answer any questions. 
um, make sure he takes it in the morning, yep. and I hope he does really well with this medication, is able to do well in school too. Okay. All right, take care. It was really nice talking to you, Good Ryan. To meet you. My name is Alex if you need anything else, okay?